By the way, guys, just one other thing about theme. What do you want to say in your story? Do you just want a house in Malibu? Is that why you're writing your television show? Because if that's the only reason you're writing it, maybe you'll succeed, but it won't be a very strong story. Why is that? What's the truth about life you want to get across in your story? There is a truth about life in Breaking Bad. What do you want to say about life? This isn't just some stupid exercise. It's your passion. Because remember, theme is about the truth you want to tell about life. What do you want to say? What do you want to say? Nothing? Well, think about it. You do want to say something. Vince Gilligan is saying that power really corrupts, absolutely corrupts, especially weak people. What's the theme in Orange is the New Black, by the way? A great show by Jinji Cohan. What's the theme there? What's the problem in that show? It's that Piper doesn't have a strong sense of herself. That means she can go with girls, she can go with guys, she can betray them both. She doesn't know who she is. You gotta know who you are. That's a great theme too. In Sons of Anarchy, another fabulous show, the hero wants, or the writer of the show, Kurt Sutter, wants to tell us you're doomed if you don't have a good mentor. Do you not have a good mentor? Have you not had a good mentor in your life? Are your parents shitty? A crappy, sorry. If they're crappy, you're in trouble. You better find a mentor. That's the whole reason Kurt Sutter wrote Sons of Anarchy, even if he tells you it wasn't. So we need to understand the theme in this show because it's in every page of the show. So what do you really believe? What are you passionate about? Now, what's the hook in this show? Well, we already know that. So I want to start walking through this story to see the hook. You ever seen a show called Man in the High Castle? What's the hook there? Will our protagonist succeed in throwing off Japan and Germany from America? Making a murderer, what's the hook there? Will the villains manage to frame this guy for murder twice? Orange is the New Black, will Piper ever figure out his sexuality? Breaking Bad, it's how far is Walter gonna go? You're gonna see that in this pilot. It's really, really important, right? So. Let's take a look at it, and what I suggest you do is you pull up this pilot, both as a script and as a television episode, and you study it as we go along. And as you do that, I'm going to be breaking it down. So I'll give you a chance now to buy that class, buy that movie from Amazon. There's literally dozens of ways to get this. And then we're going to do that. We're going to look at both of those things. So let's start out with Breaking Bad. And as we start out, what do we start out with? We start out with a cold open. A cold open is just the first five minutes of a show. No titles, just right into the show. And structurally, we have the first and the second most important storyline in the entire pilot posed in this cold open. Now, what is a storyline question? It is the central question of your story. What's your storyline about? What's your movie about? What's your movie? What's your television show about? What, if you had to ask yourself, what is my television show about? What would you say? What would your log line be? Think of it right now. I bet you have some trouble doing that. You go, well, it's about, uh, it's about a girl who's an albino and she is being chased. Um, oh, wait a minute. Hang on. No, it's about uh, the corruption of a society. Wait a minute. No, it's about... So guys, I urge you to try to log line your story. What is the most important part of your television show? What is the question you want to see answered in the pilot and maybe throughout the entire season's run of your show? Okay, what is it? In Mad Men, it's will Don Draper succeed in not being a villainous adulterer in his private life? Will he let his commercial success heal him? Yes, that's the A storyline for the pilot and it's the A storyline for the entire run of the show. For Game of Thrones, the A story logline is which family will win because we need to unite everyone in order to fight the White Walkers. That's the A story logline and it's for the pilot and it's the A story logline for the entire run of the show. Yes, all seven or 10 or 15 years, whatever it's gonna be. So you need to have in an hour drama, at least four different storylines. We call them the A, B, C, D. Sometimes you have six more. Jinji Cohan in, in Orange is the New Black can handle 12. But these four storylines alternate in a very particular pattern. 
and you need to go to my lecture or some other lecture on University of Story. I have a television lecture that shows you how these four storylines alternate in all hour long dramas, no matter how cool you are, no matter what a hipster you are. David Lynch has to use these patterns, probably unwillingly, but every great creator uses these same patterns of story. Why? Because it's a way to entertain the audience. Television is more complex than movies. We need to have more storylines than we do in a movie. Movies usually have only two storylines. Television can have up to 10, and an hour drama alternates them in each act in a very specific way. I'm going to show you how that's done in Breaking Bad. The A storyline in Breaking Bad, I'm just going to tell you right now, is this. Will Walter White become a badass drug dealer? That's it. That's the A question. And by the way, if you have a four act chart box, which every television production company uses, or maybe five, writers like four, producers like six because they can sell more commercials, you will have seven little boxes. And each one of those boxes is a beat. And there are seven in the first act, seven in the second act, seven in the third, and seven in the fourth because you have 28 beats in an hour drama. And the A storyline takes up from 14 to 16 of those little boxes. The B story takes up to six of those little boxes, maybe eight. The C takes up three or four, and the D can take up two or three. Why? Because the A storyline is the most important. And we often open and close our acts on our A storylines. Now, guys, I know this sounds complex. You can learn it in my lecture. You can learn it somewhere else. You better learn it, because that's how pilots are written. So we open up in the cold open of Breaking Bad with this RV racing through the desert with this middle-aged guy wearing nothing but baggy underwear and Costco glasses and a gas mask. Why, by the way, are we riveted by this? It's nothing particularly interesting. It's because we're seeing that he drives badly and he almost crashes over and over and over again. That's called good news, bad news, and a ticking clock. Is he going to crash? And these suspense techniques are used in every single television show and every single movie that's any good ever. Hitchcock invented a lot of them. I just saw North by Northwest for the first time the other night. I'm sorry, I should have seen it years ago. And he uses these techniques in every scene. So Gilligan does too. This RV finally crashes. But as it does, we're seeing Walter White in these baggy pants jumping out of the RV. Now, what's riveting about this guy? He's dressed in cheap clothes, and he's not in good shape, and he's wearing BVDs that cost $3. Why are we interested in him? Because he's real. An actor, given this role, would have worked out for six months, gotten really great abs and lats, and jumped out of the RV. Hey, here I am. Walter is an everyman, and he's got two bodies in his car and a guy behind the passenger seat with a gas mask on. He climbs out of the RV, he puts his pants on, he retrieves his pants, and then we hear what? A siren. What is the siren? There's a siren coming. The siren is a ticking clock. The cops are coming. So the A storyline is, will Walter become a badass drug dealer? What's in the RV? Two bodies, a bunch of chemicals. But now he grabs a video camera and he tearfully records a farewell to his family. And as he does, he says, this is not for the police. I'm speaking to my family now. That is the B storyline. Remember, the A and the B storyline alternate in the cold open. The B storyline here is, will Walt take care of his family? And by speaking to this camera, it looks like he's doing just that. And what does he say? I love you. There are things people are going to tell, me, tell you about me. They're wrong. I'm not a criminal. I wanted to take care of you. That's the B storyline. Then the sirens get louder. Walter takes a gun from his underwear, steps up to the road, points the pistol right at the, at the road, and stands there while the siren gets loud. Boom! End of cold open. That's a great cliffhanger, and it's a ticking clock, and it doesn't get resolved, and we go to the credits. So what have we seen in the cold open? A story, B story, back to A story. That's a great open. 